Now that we've considered single par parameter regression, let's consider linear regression. So the setting is something like this. We have some y values and x values and they're paired. Like this, say. And we want to fit the line that best goes, well that's not a very good line. The line that best goes through the data, say for example that line. And we're going to do it, the way we're going to define best is to take these values like this, the residuals, and add them up squared. So the sum of the squared residuals, and we're going to try and minimize them. So see, that line is going to have a lower sum of the squared residuals than, say, for example, that line. Okay, so let's set up the problem. So we have our y is an m by 1 vector and our x is an n by 1 vector. And we want to minimize norm y minus beta naught times jn minus uh, beta 1 times x, norm squared. Now, uh, I'd like, the, you can do this by taking derivatives, of course. And in this case, because there's just two parameters, you, um, you can do it very easily. However, I want to show how to do this using um, just by referring back to regression to the origin. So let's imagine that we fix, and this is a technique that we can use a lot. So fix beta 1. So assume, assume that it's known. Then this, these two values right there together, y minus beta 1x, consider them a single vector. Okay? So we can just write this. I know I haven't done anything y minus beta 1x minus beta naught jn. If I think of that as a single vector, then this is just mean only regression, and we know that the solution for beta naught has to be the average of this vector right here. Okay, so what we know is that beta naught, as it depends on beta 1, right, if we fix beta naught as it depends on beta 1, has to go through the point 1 over n y minus beta 1 x times jn transpose, which works out to be y bar minus beta 1 x bar. Okay, now if we take that beta naught and plug it back into this equation, let me write this as star, let me write star has to be greater than or equal to if we plug that beta naught back in, and I'm going to rearrange some terms a little bit. So we get y minus y bar jn plus beta 1 x minus x bar times jn. Okay, so I just did some rearranging some terms, so you can do that on your own if you don't see it immediately. So now I can rewrite this as, say, x y tilde, oops, and that's a minus sign, minus beta 1 x tilde, where y tilde is the centered version of y and x tilde is the centered version of x. Now this equation is merely regression through the origin, okay, with the new vectors y tilde and x tilde, and so we know that the solution has to be beta 1 hat equal to norm inner product of y tilde and x tilde over the inner product of x tilde by itself. And we know from the last lecture that that is the covariance, the estimated covariance between x and y times the standard deviation of the y over the standard deviation of the x. So it turns out that if we do linear regression that our estimate is identical to as if we did regression through the origin having centered the data first. Okay, now another, uh, another we have to solve for the intercept but we have the equation for the intercept right here. And so we know that as the intercept depends on beta 1, it has to take that form. So we get beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar. And this intercept, saying the intercept is this, is basically, if I go back up to my picture right here, this basically says that if you take the average of the y's and the average of the x's, that the linear regression model has to go through 
specifically that point. Okay, so every time you fit a linear regression model, it has to go through the point y bar x bar. Okay, well that's uh, fitting linear, linear regression in a nutshell.